Windows 8.1 is the release of Windows anti-operating system developed by Microsoft. It was released to manufacturing on August 27, 2013 and really released for retail sale on October 17, 2013, about a year after retail release of its predecessor and succeeded by Windows 10 on July 29, 2058. Windows 8.1 was made available for download via TechNet and available is for the upgrade for retail copies of Windows 8 and Windows RT users via the Microsoft Store. A version Server version Windows Server 2012 R2 was released on October 16, 2013. Windows 8.1 M2 address complaints of Windows 8 users and reviewers on launch and enhancements include improved start screen, additional snap views, additional bundled apps, tighter OneDrive, formerly SkyDrive, integration with Internet Explorer 11, a Bing powered uh, restoration on the taskbar. Oh, I oh, messed up my voice. <sighs> okay. Windows 8.1 also adds support for the emerging technologies like high resolution displays, 3D printing, Wi Fi direct, and Miracast streaming, as well as the REFS file system. Windows 8.1 received more positive reception than Windows A with critics, praising the expand functionality. Available to apps and in comparison to Windows 8, its OneDrive integration, its user interface tweaks, and addition of expand tutorials for operating system Windows 8. Uh, despite these improvements, Windows 8.1 was still criticized for not addressing all issues of Windows 8, such as poor integration between Metro style apps and the dis desktop interface and potential privacy implications of re expanded use of le services. Microsoft and mainstream support for a Windows 8.1 on January 9, 8, 2018 extended its support will end on January 10, 2023 as of February 2022. 2.87% of traditional PCs running Windows were running Windows 8.1, making it fourth most popular Windows since Windows 11 surpassed it. In February 2013, ZDNet writer Mary Jo Foley disclosed potential rumors about Lou, the codename for a wave of plan updates across several of Microsoft products and services, including Windows 8, Windows Phone 8, Outlook.com, and SkyDrive. In particular, was the report tailed that planning to a shift to a more continuous development model, which would see major revisions to its main software platforms released on a consistent yearly cycle to keep up with market demands, lead lending credibility to reports fully noted that Microsoft's staff member had listed experience with Windows Blue on his LinkedIn profile listed as a separate operating system from 8. A post RTM build of Windows 8 build 9364 was leaked in March 2013. A build which is believed to be a Windows Blue revealed a number of enhancements across Windows 8's interface, including additional size options for tiles, expand color options on start screen, expansion of PC settings to include more options that were previously exclusive to the desktop. Control panel, the ability for apps to snap to half of the screen, ability to take screenshots from a shared term, and additional stock apps, increase Sky Drive integration such as automatic device backups and Internet Explorer 11. Shortly afterward, on March 26, 2013, corporate vice president of corporate communications, Frank X, Shaw officially the Blue Project, stating that continuous development will be new normal at Microsoft. Services are working together wherever they are and, and for whatever they are doing. In early May, press reports announcing the upcoming version of Financial Times and the Economist negatively compared Windows 8 to New Coke. The theme was then echoed and debated in New Computer Press. Shaw. Rejected this criticism is extreme and 
that he saw comparison with Diet Coke is more appropriate. On May 14, 2013, Microsoft announced that Blue was officially unveiled as Windows 8.1 and following a keynote and presentation focusing on this version. The public de- beta of Windows 8.1 was released on June 26, 2013 during build, old build 9600 of Windows 8.1 was released to OEM hardware partners on August 27, the 2013 become generally available on October 17, in 2013. Unlike past releases of Windows and its service packs, volume lines has come from subscribers to MSDN Plus and TechNet Plus as were un- unable to obtain the R- RTM version. Upon its release, the spokesperson say that the change in policy was was to allow Microsoft to work with OEMs to ensure a quality experience at general availability. Microsoft stated that Windows 8.1 will be released to general public on October 27, 2013. However, after criticism. Microsoft reversed its decision and re- released the RTM built on MSDN and TechNet on September 9, 2013. Microsoft announced that Windows 8.1 along with Windows Server 2012 RT was released to manufacturing on August 27, 2013. Prior to the release of Windows 8.1, Microsoft premiered a new television commercial in late September 13. 13- 2013, that focus on its changes as of a part of Windows Everywhere com- campaign. Shortly after its release, Windows RT 8.1 was you know, temporarily recalled by Microsoft following reports that some users had encountered a rare bug which corrupted the operating system's boot configuration data during installation, resulting in an error on startup. On October 21, 2013, Microsoft confirmed that the bug was limited to your original service tablet and affected 1-1000 installations as the company released media, recovery media, and instruction instructions which could be used to repair a device and restore access to was RT 8.1 the next day. It was also found that changes to screen resolution handling on Windows 8.1 resolved mouse input lag in certain video games, games that do not use the direct put input APIs, particularly first person shooter games. games uh, oh well, yeah. Oh, okay. Rates. Microsoft released a patch to fix the bug on certain games in November 2013 and acknowledged that it was caused by changes to mouse input processing for low frequency interaction scenarios. Update. On April 8, 2014, Microsoft released the Windows 8.1 update, which included all past updates plus new features. It It was unveiled by Microsoft Vice. President Joe Bel- Belfiar at Mobile World Congress on February 2014 and detailed full at Microsoft Build Conference on April 2. Belfiar stated note that the update would lower the minimum system requirements for Windows so it can be installed on devices at, with as little as 1 GB RAM and 16 GB storage. Unlike Windows 8.1 itself, this cumulative update is distributed for Windows update and must be installed in order to receive any for patches for Windows 8.1. At 2014 build conference during April, Microsoft's Terry Myerson unveiled further user interface for changes for Windows 8.1, including the ability to run Metro-style apps inside desktop windows, and revised Star Menu, which creates a compromise between the Star Menu design used by Windows 7 and Start Screen by combining the application listing in first column that with a second that can be used to display app tiles, whereas Windows 8.0 used a Screen hotspot, hot corner. Myerson stated that these changes would occur in a future update, but not ele- elaborate further. Distinctions: remove all tooltip with pu- preview thumbnail of 
the start screen. Microsoft also unveiled known as the Universal Windows apps in which a Windows runtime app can be imported to Windows Phone, April 1, and Xbox One while sharing a common database or oops, I meant code base. While it does not entirely unify Windows app ecosystem without Windows alone, it will allow de developers to synchronize data between versions of their app on each platform while access to Windows, Windows, Windows Phone, and Xbox One versions of an app in a single purchase. As Microsoft originally announced that users who could not, it, uh, what? So, in 2014, however, this meeting, this uh, deadline proved challenging to be ability to apply Windows 8.1 update through Windows Server. Update services WSUS US was disabled shortly after its release following the discovery of a bug which affects the ability to use WSUS as a whole in certain server configurations. And Microsoft later fixed the issue, but users continue to report the, uh, the update may fail to install Microsoft's attempt to fix the problem that was ineffective to a point to that Microsoft pushed the support deadline for to June 14, 2014. On 16 May, Microsoft released additional updates to fix the problem with BSOD in the update distribution. Microsoft Markets 8 Windows 8.1 is an update for Windows 8 to avoid the, the term upgrade. Microsoft's uh, support lifecycle policy treats Windows 8.1, similar to previous uh, service packs of Windows, is is part of Windows 8 support lifecycle and is upgrading to Windows 8.1 is required to maintain access to support and to Windows updates after January 12th of 2016. Retail and OEM copies of Windows 8, Windows 8 Pro, and Windows RT can be upgraded through the Windows Store for a change. Which, however, volume lines and customers, TechNet, or MSN DN subscribers and users of Windows 8 Enterprise must acquire download installation and media for Windows 8.1 and install through traditional Windows setup process as either as an an in-place upgrade or clean install. This requires a Windows 8.1 specific product key. Yeah, upgrading through Windows, Windows Store requires each machine to download an upgrade package as big as 2 to 3.6 gigabytes. Unlike the traditional Windows service pack, packs, the standalone installer, which could be downloaded once and installed as many times as needed, requires a 8.1 Windows 8.1 rock key. On July 1st, 2014, acknowledging difficulties users ha may have and to through the Windows, though the Windows Store update method, Microsoft began to phase an automatic download process for Windows 8.1. Windows 8 was reissued at retail as Windows 8.1 alongside the up online upgrade for those who did not currently own a Windows 8 license. Retail copies of Windows 8.1 contain full licenses that can be installed on any computer regardless of their existing operating system. Unlike Windows 8 to retail copies, which were only available at retail with upgrade licenses, Microsoft say that the change was res in response to customer feedback to allow more flexibility for users. Present for the retail copies of Windows 8.1 remain the same. In Windows 8.1 with Bing is a reduced cost SKU of Windows 8.1 that has been introduced by Microsoft in May 2014 in an effort to further encourage the production of low-cost Windows devices with dri driving and user usage of Microsoft services such as Bing and OneDrive. 
It is subsidized by Microsoft's Bing search engine, which is set as the default within Internet Explorer and cannot be changed by OEMs. However, this restriction does not apply to end users who can still change the default search engine freely. It is otherwise, and functionality identical to the base edition of Windows 8.1 market share. According to Net Applications, the op adoption rate in March 2015 for Windows 8.1 was at 10.55%, three times that of the original Windows 8 at 3.52%. Windows 8.1 reached a peak adoption rate of 30.12% in June 15, 2015, compared with Windows P 8 peak peak adoption rate of 8.02% in September 2013.